What is up guys, Austin awesome Richard here and today we're unboxing the DC Legion of Collectors box and this time is featuring DC's most wanted so we have a scarecrow there on the front which is one of my favorite Batman villains but let's see what kind of awesome villain stuff whoa they've packed this, packaged this box to all weird stuff um, so just to start out on the top here you can see all sorts of DC villains I see Lex Luthor, Penguin, Black Manta, Deadshot, um, Deathstroke, Bane Bizarro. Yeah, bizarro. all sorts of Joker, all sorts of villains there. So let's get into our box here. So so usually when they open the box, the first thing they have the pin and patch right on top and on the like a little flap thing that you open. This one does not have that, so I don't know exactly what's going on or if, you know where stuff is and everything. But to start off, we do have a patch though that I do see. And so this one is, this is Legion's a Collector, then we got Black Manta, so Aquaman's villain there, and the patch, which looks really cool. I like that patch, and it's usually, it looks bigger than they normally do, so that's awesome. Um, like I said, I don't see the pin anywhere, but there could be one in here somewhere. Uh, next up, we have a Joker, and it's in the pop vinyl form, and it looks like a dog tag, or luggage tag type thing. Because on the back there's a, you know, a little tab and then like a box that you can like write stuff on and everything. So I like the design of the um, Joker pop version. But again, it's not a luggage tag, so it's no use for us. But it's still cool. Like I like the shape and everything. Then next up, it, I assume these are stickers. Could be the tattoos, but I assume stickers. But it's a villains, and so they're like little like mini character versions. So we have Harley Quinn, Black Mana, Deathstroke, and um, Sinestro. Sinestro, yeah. Right there, the yellow lantern. So those are all cool. We've never gotten stickers before, so that's kind of weird. Um, but they look really cool. I like the design of them. Uh, the next up, we got a shirt. And so, of course, as I um, assumed, it has a bunch of different villains on it. So let's open it and see who all we got in here. And so it looks like at the top it says, Most Wanted. So there it says, Most Wanted. So let's see. It looks like we have... Um, Let's see, I see Sinestro, Joker, it's hard to see all these people, Captain Cold, Black Mana. Ares. Yeah, Ares in the back, Lex Luthor, and... That looks like... I couldn't tell what... Oh, it's probably his... a part of... I th it looked like a snake, so I thought like, the Cobra King guy. So yeah, it looks like that's all the people in there. Again, I like this shirt because it's got all the different people, but it's... They do this with like a, a lot of their shirts. They just pick like a few colors and just make everything those colors. Um, so I like all the red. It's hard to like see the different characters. So I would have like you know each character in their actual colors. So you could like you know each one would stand out. But it still looks pretty cool though. It looks like they have like a spotlight type thing on them. Like they've been pointed out by a searchlight or something like that. A red one. But that's cool anyways. Um, I, as I said, I don't see any pins, so we may not have got a pin for this month, that's why we got the other stuff. But we will go with our pops for the month, and, um, I'll start with this one, I guess. So first up, we have a Lex Luthor, which I somewhat, um, expected being here with him being on that advertisement thing. And we haven't got one yet, so I, like I said, I assumed that to be this one. So it's Lex Luthor in the mech suit, as it says. And this is obviously an exclusive. And this is kind of cool because, uh... His purple on that armor is a metallic, and I thought maybe, like, I noticed that, and I thought maybe the green was metallic too, but it's not. Um, so, of course, here we, he's in, like, his green mech suit type thing that he uses. Um, I assume to be able to fight, like, Superman and stuff to give him some extra um, mechanics behind him to be powerful and everything. He has the Lex Core like, logo there on his chest. Again, it's hard to see in the light. But this feels really weird, so they built this thing around his head which does feel like it's a completely separate piece because like his head like moves inside of it and stuff so it's kind of weird um it's weird because that piece that's around his head looks like it'd be on one of the six inch pops for maybe dark side yeah i say it looks like a weird size or something um but so it's like differently attached so it's like three separate pieces so it's the head this whatever part around his neck and then the actual body but it still looks really cool like i think that looks super awesome for alex luther and it's not just him in a normal outfit so it's, we just get a another bald guy character or something that <laughs> you can't tell who it is or something rattling in there but oh well so we got that one and then this next pop which is awesome but kind of weird that they just now came out with it but it is a bane which looks super cool 
But I said this is weird because they just came out with the um, Batman the Animated Series Bane, which looks almost exactly like this. So I feel they just kind of took this and reworked it. Like, they did add stuff. So, like, the hel um, helmet mask, whatever. Here it does have, like, a zipper on it, which the Animated Series obviously didn't. He has more tubes. I don't know if the Animated Series one has the tube on the head, but I know it does have a tube connected that goes to the arm, uh, kind of like this one. And it's a green instead of this one being all gray. But there's, and you can see he's got multiple tubes going on there. But the mask, like, design looks exactly the same. And then he's got, like, hair on his back or something. I don't know if you can see that in the picture or anything. But he's got a bunch of, like, little hair marks all over his back. And then he's, um, the outfit looks normal, um, pretty much the same. The boots do look different because it looks like they had the shoelaces in there. Um, I don't remember those being on the other ones. But it still looks really cool. And like I said, I'm surprised for one it took this long to even make Bane. And then now that they've, uh, they've released two that look nearly identical now together. But they both still look really cool though. So that is awesome. And that does look like that is everything out of the box for this month. So we will now look at our card. And so the next box is Justice League. So we can expect that coming up for the new Justice League movie. And then we'll look at the items here. So, of course, we have our Lex Luthor and our Bane, which doesn't really have much of anything. Like, I wish I... I want to, like, read all these things, so sometimes these things are funny, but they will take too long to read it. Um, then, of course, we have our Joker travel tag, or whatever they want to call it, which, like I said, travel ta the luggage tags or whatever are useless for us, but I really like this design that they took a, an actual, like, Joker like pop it. I'd say it's probably almost to size, too, and turn it into a luggage tag. Then we got our shirt, which, like I said, I like with all the characters, but hate the solid, just all red. And, yes, it, so this thing here does look like instead of the pin this month, we did get stickers. Um, which, you know, we're adults, so we have no clue what to use stickers for. But they're still cool. we find something to stick them on or something. And then our black mana patch, which I think is really awesome. And it looks like, so that is it for this month. Oh yeah, and so I just noticed the thing here. It says, based on customer feedback, we are mixing up some of the products featured in this box. This is why we f um, this box features a sticker set instead of enamel pin. Stay tuned for more product offerings coming in the future. So it looks like they're going to be kind of switching some of the extra, I assume extra, and they'll keep the pops, I hope, the same. Um, but just like mix some of the other items up. Which will be cool until they find something that, you know, people will like a lot and everything. But I thought the box was pretty awesome. It has a bunch of different DC villains and everything. I would have liked another Scarecrow, but again, they just released one with the Animated Series 2. Um, but overall, I thought it was still awesome. I mean, I love the villains, and so getting any of the different villains stuff is awesome. But that's going to be it for this unboxing. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below. And hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.